Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson. And we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. Pippen is out there with Grant. Then it's Jordan. Then it's John Paxson. And it's Cartwright in at the five spot. Now here is Russell. And the call will be against Scotty Pippen. That is his first foul of the game. His first personal foul. First team foul. Here's Davis. Off the inbound pass. And finished off by Anthony Davis. Uh-oh. Okay. AD put a little something extra on that jam. That's not fair. Let's just say that. And he banks in the lane. Davis has got his second bucket of the game to go. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now, here's Paxson. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Six to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Here's Jordan. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Reeves the pass to Davis. Missed inside. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniffed that one out. There's the pass to Paxson. Here's Cartwright. Right side, Pippen. Let's it go from the wing. Not going to go that time. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for L.A. The shot missing. Some solid defense from Grant. Paxson kicks to Pippen. This is it to Kirk. Great D that time from LeBron. And even three on three break. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. Staying strong against the defense. It's just great to see Davis initiate the contact. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Well, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Outside Jordan. 16 feet away. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. And usually that's a bucket for him. But look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. There's 138 left here in the first quarter. Can't connect from short range. Bulls still looking like they're getting going. Four-point game. Pippen finds Jordan. To stop the drought. And Davis sends it back. And this is how AD led the league in block shots. It's not just his wingspan, but it's his awareness, his basketball IQ when it comes to reading the game. Pippen against Hachimura. Here's Cartwright, and Davis sends it back. And they're able to recover. They retain possession. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that. Some changes for Chicago. Bill Purdue's checked in for Grant. Hodges comes in for Michael Jordan. And B.J. Armstrong has subbed in for John Paxson. Cartwright the pass to Hodges. Down to five on the shot clock. Purdue with a screen on Hachimura. Here's Hodges. That falls nicely on the feed that time from Pippen. And what you love about Hodges, such an accurate shooter off the catch. Defensively, you want to make him put the ball on the floor. Now, here is Russell. Still yet to score. Here's Davis, and he converts the layup. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Bulls trail by three. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Armstrong dishes to Pippen. And the rejection by James. And on with the block. 
Look, the shooters are working hard, but he is all over them. Four seconds left, and it's laid in by Davis. Davis has got 10 points. Guy's just ridiculous. He is just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Lakers. And the blocks just kept on coming for him. He's playing some fantastic D. And we'll be back with you shortly. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Lakers here so far, guys. What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Making it as difficult as possible for the offense to find clean looks. Great stuff. Bulls trail by five. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. They've got Purdue. Livingston is out there with Hobson. Then it's Jordan. And it's Armstrong in at the point. Jordan, that's for two. And he connects with the jumper. Los Angeles leading by three. Out to the right wing. Davis down low. He's guarded by Purdue. That's good from Davis on the assist by Russell. And I like Russell's ability to create for others. He does what's best for the team. Here's Jordan. Reeves with the rebound. Jordan's gone just one of five from the field. James, the pass to Davis. Good. Nice job down low. Davis has got the lead up to seven now for the Lakers. This is where you want AD to get his shots. That, that's almost automatic. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. This Lakers franchise, of course, has a lot of championships, but they know that nothing's given. Coach Darvin Ham said that that ring and them banners don't come if you ain't on your thing. You've got to be focused and make every day count. Talking about championship, championship. At some point, the lip service gets old. You've got to go do it. Kevin, back to you. Got to go do it. He's all about action. David, thank you. He can dominate, time beat time you up in so many ways. And Davis is giving that D. He, he's giving them problems tonight. And now the first timeout called here for the Bulls. So for the Bulls. Bill Carver, he's checked in for Purdue. Grant comes in for Livingston. And it's Paxton in for Hobson. Bill Carver, Grant, John Paxton. Jordan on the wing. He's covered by Hachimura. Outside Jordan. Bulls moving the ball around. The offensive rebound. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Sure, they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Here's Davis. There is no question Davis is a top 10 talent in this league when healthy. But unfortunately, he's dealt with several injuries throughout the years. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Guys, they're bullying them in the post, using their size and strength as an advantage, exploiting the defense. And also, give them a lot of credit for that attack mode mentality off the dribble. Getting a lot of points off the penetration. And the rejection by James. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Here's Paxson. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. It's Davis with the drop. And it's Davis finishing it off. Yeah, Davis is big, but he can move. He just knows how to drive hard and get an easy finish at the rim. Grant with a screen on Hachimura. And it's Pippen with the jam. 
A oh, power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. This is his third trip to the free throw line. And he knocks down the first one. At the line for the Lakers. And both free throws good for Davis. Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Grant outside. Pass to Kirk. Up top, Armstrong takes a three. And Davis pulls it down. Los Angeles leading by eight. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Davis has got 23 points. This is what Davis does, people. He has a wide variety of ways to score. Very few bigs can handle like that. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Yeah, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. You've got to focus on the details. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Purdue is checked in for Carpenter. And it's Jordan in for Armstrong. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. And then slammed in by Jordan. Yeah, you won't find a much more entertaining sight. I'd call that slam dunk contest level. Russell looking around. Pass to Reeves. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Over the course of AD's career, he's made a concerted effort to draw fouls, and we've seen that free throw attempt number skyrocket. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. And here's Jordan outside, and no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's Los Angeles going into the break with a 10-point lead. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. We come back right after this. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. You know, Davis has been exceptional here, guys. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. He knows that that's a strength for him. If they're gonna keep fouling, he has no problem taking that. At the guard positions, Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three slot. That's the Laker five. Three on the clock. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Just solid. Really, one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Grant against James. The pass to Davis. Outside, James. Davis inside, he's against Cartwright, and out of bounds, the Bulls will take it. And here we go, coaches' challenges being called for here on the out-of-bounds violation. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And this is how you protect and grow a lead, by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. 
And you know these types of plays, especially when you're talking about action around the sideline. This is something you can get a much better perspective. The previous play is under review. Angles much easier to see exactly what's going on, especially with the fidelity. The ruling on the floor is confirmed. So we just got word from the NBA replay center via the official courtside administrator. And the original call will stand before the out-of-bounds violation. You know, and some people might argue, hey, we're stopping the game, but this uses up a timeout, so that's technically already a break that could happen, regardless of the call staying the same. Michael Jordan on the way. He's got six. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. To be young again. <laughs> Makes you nostalgia, doesn't yeah. it? James looking it over. Outside, Davis. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Stolen by Grant. And great job preventing that ball from coming into the post. Might have been an easy two if the defense wasn't there. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Here's Pippen. And the rejection by James. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Six on the shot clock. From 18 feet away, a shot by Jordan, no good. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. They've led by as much as 10. Here's Davis. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Bulls trail by six. Paxson outside. Pops it up for Jordan. And Jordan throws it down. And keeping his options open, Grant would rather give it away than waste the possession on a poor shot. Ball's not loose and stolen by Jordan. He feeds it to Grant, outside for Pippen. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. B.J. Armstrong's checked in for Jordan. Substitution number 10, B.J. Armstrong. Los Angeles leading by four, passes it to Davis. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Davis has got 27 points. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. Pippen the pass to Grant. And stolen by LeBron. Davis against Pippen. In by Davis. And let's not forget about his athleticism. Dominant above the rim. Davis knows how to use his size to his advantage. Purdue is checked in for Chicago. Second team. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Number 32. Russell against Armstrong. And Brent, now top of the key, kicks it to Pippen. Grant sets a screen for Pippen. Back to Grant. Nine feet out. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Grant's got his first points in this one. Perfect execution on that screen and roll. Grant showing off that IQ there. Here's Davis. Some solid defense from Grant. Bulls trail by six. Right side, Pippen. Kicks it out to Grant. Carries it from three-point range. Grant's got five points now in the quarter. And how about Grant extending his range? I'm sure his teammates are fired up after that one. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Pippen against Hachimura. Pippen outside. With one on the clock, and that's going to do it. Some good defense down the stretch to end the quarter. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end of three. Lakers lead by three.
And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo. Okay, fans, it's go time. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Taking a look at the Bulls, they've got P.J. Armstrong. Livingston is out there with Purdue. Then it's Jordan, and it's Brown in at the one spot. And they double up Davis. Pass to Reeves. Lakers passing it around. Four on the shot clock. Shoots from the right block. That one a little long. Bulls trail by three. Jordan looking it over. Pops it up for Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. And you know how that play's going to end. Jordan in the air, adjusting effortlessly. Outside, Davis. Driving the lane. And it's Davis finishing it off. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Back to Jordan. Armstrong kicks to Jordan. Sinks that one from the post. Jordan's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, high percentage look for Jordan. It has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Reeves the pass to Hachimura. Davis with it. He's guarded by Purdue. And Davis throws it down home. Talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And the Bulls will go for a different look here. Cartwright's checked in for Purdue. Grant comes in for Livingston. Scotty Pippen's checked in for Armstrong. And it's Paxson in for Brown. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Guys, during that last break, I heard Phil Jackson as he talked with the team. Now, he talked about keeping confidence. He said, this game is close, but we know we're the better team. Now it's time to go out there and prove it. See if they can come back in this one. Guys, Thank you, David. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for Los Angeles? They've been just suffocating on defense the whole game. Look at their shot blocking. The opposition doesn't have any room to breathe. And not just that, they're also forcing turnovers at a high rate and taking advantage in transition. I mean, already hot coming into the game. Is it fair to say he's hotter? 143 left here in the fourth quarter. Paxson passes to Jordan. Now Russell. Here's Davis, and finished off by Davis. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Jordan outside. Hexen outside. Shot clock at six. Here's Pippen. Up again. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backward. Los Angeles leading by seven. LeBron passes to Reeves. Now here's Davis. The rebound by Cartwright. 
This is a do-or-die possession. They have got to get points. Anything other than a make is game over. This is where you lean on your stars to get you to the finish line. Yeah, putting the team on his back as he often does. The tighter the game gets, the more Jordan wants the ball. And it's Davis with the ball for the Lakers. They've led by as much as 10. And they double up Davis. And now we've got the intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. And so he drops them both. It's a seven-point game. Taking full advantage of his opportunities at the line to extend their lead. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Yeah, they fought as hard as they could. Just wasn't in the cards tonight. Chicago calls timeout. They're down by seven. We've got 28 seconds left in the game. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Hachimura. The shot and game clock separated by four. And Davis puts it in. Defender plays tough, but Davis is tougher. Plays through the contact line just with ease, just with authority. Pippen outside. Grant finds Pippen. Back to Grant. Pass to Pippen. Grant outside. From the arc. Offline. And so Los Angeles takes the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. And now we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Anthony Davis.